Good morning, everybody. It's me, Tonic TZW, and I'm here in Division with two friends. One, a fleet member, Tolotag021, who's called Torsten, and our other German friend, Jub Noss. And this one is called the Comeback Kings, and it is the ultimate carry. It's a slow start, but it's going to end with an explosive finish. You'll see here that both blue and red team have a failed division because somebody has split tiers in their division with a tier 3 and a tier 4. And unfortunately for them, they have been pulled up to tier 5. That isn't going to end well for the cruiser on our team, that De Guy Truan, or whatever it's called. Um, he's going to be the first ship out of the game. Um, spoiler alert there. Um, but this is going to be a bit of a slow burner to start. Um, my RNG was absolutely atrocious on this and I just couldn't believe the way in which my shells were fallen. I know that there's a thing called splash damage in the game, but splash damage does not include water hitting the ships from where the shells land close, because those water splashes don't do any damage. It's to do with the HE explosive damage. We've got two West Virginias and the Duker, and as I said earlier, um, Yub in his Duker de Oster is not going to survive this battle, so there's a bit of a spoiler alert there. Um, but what he is going to do is use the sap shells on that Duke of Oster to do enough damage to the things around us to allow us to pull something absolutely spectacular out of the bag. Bear with me. Sit, watch, enjoy. I'll try and talk you through it because um yeah i just couldn't believe that the result that came out of this was what it was because everything is against us through this game we've decided to come across here to acap um, because we know that destroyers like to push hard down here and our destroyers have pushed forward and red team appear to have done the same because our team have pushed into bravo cap and they're going to take that pretty much uncontested but it isn't going to stay that way we are focusing fire on this tennessee and that's one of the good things about playing in a division with your friends in fact with anybody it's a good thing about communicating in any random game come up on your mic talk to people you can communicate you can coordinate your fire you can focus the ship down get rid of it and then move on to the next target because if there's three ships shooting at three different targets, it's going to take a while to get rid of those. If all three ships are shooting at one target, you're going to be able to get rid of him and then move on to the next one. So there goes our cruiser. Um, I think he got dev struck. I'm not quite sure. But watch this for dispersion on uh, this Yahagi. He comes out, the shells are looking good, and then at the last minute, they literally land one side of him and the other. Port and starboard, not a single shell on him. And I'm like, I don't know what RNG is doing to me tonight, but it's certainly not dialed in enough. And I know that the Yahagi has torpedoes, so we don't want to push too close into that um, Yahagi, not with those long range torpedoes. So I fire two shells because I think he's watching in my direction. He starts a turn and then I put the other two turrets out and I watch for the fall of shot. The first salvo goes completely over. The second salvo lands behind him and I don't get a single hit again. I'm on 14,000 damage. I must have fired five or six salvos by now. So I'm literally hitting nothing. I'm like a blind man playing darts. And I'm pointing the wrong way <laughs> from the dartboard. But we're going to make a change to that now because this repulse turns and gives a little bit too much of a broadside. And as well as him slowing down, we do manage to drop one through his citadel. And that more than doubles the damage that we've done in every salvo so far. But we're less than a third of the way through the game. We're already five ships down to one. 
and I know that people go on the social media and they say what is with the games you just get absolutely stumped or you absolutely stump the other team um, this looks like it's going to be one where we get stumped it's not I'm telling you it's not stick around and just keep watching the repulse goes bowing to us. I'm aware that I'm giving up a lot of skin to him. We've got the Dunkirk B out there. We've got two destroyers out there. I am one of those battleship captains that will shoot at destroyers. But this thing is as slippery as an eel. Because no sooner have I fired my shells than he starts his turn. Yub is using his sap shells as effectively as he can to drill these guys. And this is going to give us exactly the help that we need for late game in this match the dunkirk b is feeling brave because red team have still got two destroyers the repulse is coming in slightly angled i'm giving up so much broadside i'm expecting to get absolutely battered at any moment and we're communicating talking calling our turns the repulse dips into the smoke. Yub takes a salvo from the Dunkirk B. Torsten slaps the repulse. And I think he's still coming towards us. And I fire my salvo at his bow. But the guy has slammed on the brakes. And he is you know, literally going full reverse now. And I think what he's trying to do is to draw us into their destroyers. So we can be torpedoed. You'll notice that the ships that did go across to the cap on the right side of the minimap have also disappeared and red team are pushing through there. There's a destroyer, two cruisers and a battleship down there and we're aware that we are literally fighting from a corner. It is the only part of the map that we have control of. It doesn't seem like we're going to win this in any way possible, but we're starting to pull it back. We've taken down three of red team ships now. We've still managed to hold on to our four ships, but Yub is low health. He's trying to do everything he can to get rid of these destroyers for us and give Torsen and I in the West Virginias a fighting chance at bringing something back from this game. But out he goes. Still two destroyers in the game. We can see that red team are pushing through on the right side of the minimap. And we're looking across there. We've got a furry taco. There's a Pensacola. And I think the other ship is a Colorado. And then there is the murder sausage. The Akotnik. So Torsen and I are going to focus on this Dunkirk and do what we can to get rid of him. The cruiser who is riding the white line at the map, he's kited all the way back from there, doing whatever he can to stay alive and put some damage out onto red team. And we are just going to focus this Dunkirk. Cap reset. Always worth a few XP in the bank, isn't it? And we're rolling two turrets at a time here, trying not to waste everything. But Torsten picks up another kill as I finally lose some hit points. And I'm telling Torsten, right, we're going to have to push back because there's a destroyer on this cap. And there is, it wasn't a Colorado, sorry, it was a Tennessee. If we've got any chance of trying to do anything to save this game, we've got to get rid of these destroyers. Pensacola is a fire starter. Furry Taco is a fire starter and it has those long range hard hitting torpedoes. Here comes the Akotnik. It is danger close and this is where things are going to get absolutely mental. We've only got high ex uh, uh, sorry, armor piercing loaded, which isn't really effective against these destroyers, but we can just keep taking hit points off them because where he may end up in a smoke screen that smoke screen is not going to last forever and he has very very short range torpedoes and seriously that is the only thing that is going to save my life here because look at this this moment of the game i'm thinking i'm absolutely dead this would have been a dev strike in any other game but i think this is war gaming 
paying me back for all the terrible RNG at the start of the game. And this Pensacola, he rolls a double zero on the dice and goes out for a dev strike, dropping me a high caliber. It seems that we finally have a chance, but the only chance we've got is to kill every ship in this game because there isn't enough time to win it on points. The Tennessee is turning to give me a broadside. Torsen is getting nothing but over penetrations. There's the Akotnik. I'm not taking any chances here. We are going for a full send there and putting every single shell we have in the hope that we get rid of him. The cruiser is behind us. The battleship is in front of us. There's still another destroyer here. There it is. It's the Farragut. I've got 10 seconds left and there's more torpedoes coming in. But I think we're just far enough away and those are going to run out as well. Shuts onto the Farragut as Torsten picks up a Confederate. We miss completely and I'm thinking that shot, that salvo is going to cost us the game. And I'm just watching those seconds tick down. But slamming on the brakes forces those Tennessee shots to go across the top of me. This Farragut is being brave. He could have just gone dark, waited for his torpedoes to reload and come in and had another go at me. Because there's still four minutes on the clock. He had more than enough time to do it. But this guy is trying to win harder. And in trying to win harder, he is going to go out of the game to Torsten. Focus fire. Now we've got this cruiser behind us. We've got the Tennessee there. And I'm very, very aware of where everybody is on the map. I can't remember what it was. Seven ships to two, I think, or six ships to two. We've managed to pull it back to two apiece. And the Tennessee realizes that Red Team have completely screwed this one up. I'm going to take a torpedo. We put shots out at the Tennessee. We get some hits. It's not enough to kill him. Torsten is in reverse, hoping that he doesn't die to torpedoes, but he puts an absolute spanking through the front of that furry tackle, picks up what was his third Kraken of the night, and now we know all we have to do is kill this Tennessee. He has turned tail, he is running away. We are going to get every shot we can on him. There's three minutes on the clock. It is two plays one. Gone. Out of the game. 101,390 damage. Four kills. High caliber. And the dev strike. And if you take my four kills and the fact that Torsten landed a Kraken. There you go. Two ships completely decimate Red Team. But I will say again that we could not have done that without Yub and the damage he did to those destroyers at the start of the game because that absolutely gave us the fighting chance. If there was ever a victory that should never have been defeat, it was that match for Red Team. And it got completely thrown away in the garbage. That was the game to end the night on. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Let me know what you think. Smash the like button, comment, subscribe. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.